All right, this is a side-by-side -side comparison of all we know about the DJI Pocket 3 and the older Pocket 2. As of right now, the Pocket 3 hasn't officially launched yet, but prior to launch, essentially all of the details have been leaked. So we're gonna start with a side-by-side -side comparison of the physical camera, move on to the specifications, things like the image sensor, and then even the accessories, because yes, that too has been leaked. We don't know all the details about these accessories, but after evaluating the images for a while, there are some key takeaways I can share with you guys. So let's get right into this. The event, the launch date, is scheduled for October 25th, 2023 at 9am. So if you guys want to buy this, make sure you are ready at this time, because there is a chance this camera could sell out due to its popularity. And I will be updating the description of this video with the Amazon link so you guys can check it out if you're watching this in the future. And this right here is the leaked supposed image of the DJI Pocket 3. Of course, it shares a lot of DNA with the Pocket 2, namely when it comes to the three axis gimbal. For all intents and purposes, the gimbal itself is exactly the same. Maybe the algorithm is a little bit more fine tuned because they had three years to improve it, but I think it's safe to assume the Pocket 3 is going to give us fantastic physical image stabilization, and the major advantage of having a 3-axis gimbal, in case you're wondering, is the performance in low light. It doesn't have a penalty like electronic image stabilization, and there's also no crop on the image. Again, because we're not doing this digitally, it's all in a physical device. Now, of course, the big difference physically between both generations is that much larger rotating display. So on top of giving you uh, just a better viewfinder, it's also gonna act as an easy way to switch between vertical and horizontal shooting modes. So if you shoot for multiple social media platforms like TikTok and YouTube, that's gonna be a very useful feature. And possibly because of this bigger display, they're fully ditching this weird smartphone connectivity feature the old model had. So this middle section of the Pocket 2 was removable and you could slide in a USB type C or a lightning connector and then connect it to your smartphone and use both devices in tandem. It was a weird solution. They did it because the display was so tiny, but I don't think anybody used it. And with the Pocket 3, I don't see that feature anymore. Getting into the specifications, the big difference here is the image sensor. The Pocket 2 had a 1 over 1.7 inch CMOS sensor. For reference, that's about the same size as the current GoPro, so it's that kind of an image sensor. But the new Pocket 3 is going to have a much improved 1 inch CMOS sensor that can record 4K 120 FPS. Now in case you're wondering, the old model could also do 4K, but it was limited to 60 frames per second. And on top of that, the Pocket 3 has a new, hopefully better autofocusing system and 10-bit D-Log color, giving you wider dynamic range than the three-year-old Pocket 2. So the combination of a bigger sensor and just better color should make the image substantially better. It also appears that the built-in battery is getting a significant boost in power to 1,300 milliamp hours up from 875. And if I'm doing my math correctly, that is nearly a 40% boost in battery capacity. But let's go ahead and move on to the accessories because here I think we can learn even more about the upcoming Pocket 3. So just like with the Pocket 2, there's going to be an optional creator combo that tosses in all the accessories to get the most out of the device. With the Pocket 2, the core of this bundle was the do-it-all handle. And this directly added on to the capabilities of the Pocket 2 by adding a wireless mic receiver, a quarter inch mounting point for a tripod, and it allowed you to plug in external microphones. As you would imagine, it also came with a wireless mic that was pretty good. This predates the dedicated wireless mic system DJI now offers, but in terms of capabilities, it's almost the exact same thing. They also include a wide angle lens that attaches magnetically to the camera itself. And then we had these modules to attach to a smartphone, which is no longer present, luckily on the Pocket 3. And this right here is the leaked creator combo for the Pocket 3. First thing to note here is there is no longer a dedicated do-it-all handle. Instead, we have two different modules that could extend onto the Pocket 3. The first and biggest one is just an external battery pack. This is what it looks like when attached to the Pocket 3 itself, and it does give you a quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom. So pretty cool, and it should extend your recording time quite significantly. But the most exciting piece by far is the new, hopefully upgraded wireless microphone, along with the receiver. Luckily, the receiver is a lot smaller than the battery pack, so it shouldn't make the Pocket 3 
that huge when you want to use a microphone with it. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any specs for this microphone. If it does have any upgrades, I'm gonna be looking for auto gain assist and potentially 32-bit float audio recording. I think these are likely features because Rode, the main competitor to DJI, just came out with a new mic that has these features. And I'm hoping just like with the do-it-all handle, this receiver has the ability to plug in other external microphones to the Pocket 3. And the final thing I wanna mention here about the bottom of the Pocket 3 is it appears this now implements the same magnetic mounting system as the action line of cameras. And I say that because we have these clip points on the side of the camera. And both the battery pack and the receiver have what appears to be those same clips. So if true, and the Pocket 3 implements the same magnetic mounting system as the action line of cameras, that would be extremely sweet. And then the final thing I want to point out here is the inclusion of a wide angle lens adapter. It looks like this is the exact same as the Pocket 2, which indicates that the Pocket 3 also has the same magnetic lens mounting system. And here's another leaked image of some kind of filter on the Pocket 3. And this is what the wide angle lens in particular would look like when attached to the Pocket 3. And we can see here that it's a 0.75X lens, which translates to a 15 millimeter focal point. For context, that is the same field of view as the Action 4 in the standard mode. So unfortunately you don't get the ultra wide field of view, but this is still fairly wide and should be able to replace an action camera in a lot of scenarios. So that's a side-by-side -side look of all the leaked information on the Pocket 3 against the predecessor Pocket 2. I think it's a much needed physical overhaul with a clean, fresh design, bigger display. It ditches those odd things like the phone connectivity and keeps things that work like the 3-axis gimbal. I'm super excited for the relatively massive one inch CMOS sensor, which is capable of 4K 120 frames per second. And I'm super excited to see a new dedicated wireless mic system, potentially the same magnetic mount system as the Action 4, and these magnetic lenses that could really customize the look of your footage. Again, if you're watching this after October 5th, check out the description. I'll have both these cameras linked down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.